Okay, so this is an example of a um, cafe container that I've made in Fusion. Um, basically, I could export this as what's called an OBJ file. So if I go here and I choose um, export, one of the options in export is OBJ. So I could choose OBJ as a file type and then I can hit export. It'll do a bit of processing it and it'll create a, a file that will save on my hard drive that I can bring into Sweet Home. However, if I do that, it will turn all of these um, different parts into one object. So if I want to put different colors on it or make it look like it's made of corrugated metal or anything like that, every single part of it will be the same color and the same material. So what I really want to do is I want to be able to export the, the different um, parts that I've made, my different components on their own. So all I need to do really is I need to basically switch a few of these off and then export. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll turn off my long shelf and my short shelf, which are the two uh, counters, and I'm going to turn off the roof. So all I'm doing is switching off the visibility. So all I can see now is the main body. If I now go in and I do file and I go export, this time I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one, I'm uh, just going to call it container body. And now if I choose OBJ as the file type, it's telling me it's going to use cloud translation. So what that basically means is it's going to go to a server in America and it's going to work it out for me. Then it's going to download it for me. So I'm going to click export. I just need to wait a little while now and it'll pop up with a message in a moment. So there's the message. It's telling me that it's going to make this OBJ for me. The status is nothing's happening at the moment, but in a, in a couple of seconds it'll start actually doing it. It doesn't take very long normally. Okay, you can say it's done that now, it's saying it's complete and it's saying show in File Explorer. So if I open File Explorer, it'll show me where it's saved it for me. Mine's just off the screen, so I'll bring it on and show you. It's put it into a folder there for me. So there it is, container body as an OBJ file. So I'm going to save a few other bits all into one folder, then I'll show you how that we're going to process those. So I'm going to do the same process now with the roof save that as an OBJ, save the small shelf as an OBJ and so on. But one thing that is really useful to do uh, before you do that is to actually know how big something is. So when you bring it into Sweet Home you want to be able to tell it dimensions so that they're the real size. So on this one now if I want to work out how big it is I can use my inspect and I can basically just go say from corner here to corner here and it tells me that's 5.98 meters so that's really useful to know and I can basically write that down on a bit of paper ready to go I'm going to clear that do the same thing over here work out how big this long shelf is 2.996 and so on now I can even do it by working out the height from the, the base to the top bottom of the shelf and so on and revolve around here do the same with a small shelf so mine are at different heights so it's quite good to know the height because then you can just type the elevation in and your shelf will be in the right place. I'll show you that in a moment in Sweet Home. So I'm going to, off camera now, I'm going to make OBJ files of the roof and both the shelves. Then I'll show you how to bring them into Sweet Home and put them all back together and add some materials to them. Okay, so you can see now that uh, this is the OBJ files that I've exported from Fusion. So I've got my um, my main body, I've just put a C to stand for container so they're easier to find. I've got the roof of the container, I've got a um, long shelf and then I've got a smaller shelf. So I'm going to bring those in now and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to go to furniture and import furniture. So it's not a library this time. Choose my model. So I'm going to start off with the main one which is the body. So my container body, say open. It's got my picture there of it. I'm going to hit continue just make sure that the correct views are shown which they are so I'm going to hit continue again this is where we need to be a bit more careful so I'm going to take this one a bit more slowly to make sure you understand so I'm going to add it to my catalog unfortunately I can't choose a, um, a folder of my own so I'm going to have to put it into one that already exists so I'm just going to put it into miscellaneous now so I know where to find it I'm the creator so I'll just put my name in there now this is where it gets interesting I want to be able to put in the real size so when I measured it in Fusion, and I made a note of those sizes, I'm going to write them in here. So I know that this should be 5 meters, or 50 meters, 5 meters by 
um, I think it was 98 which gives it the right size and you'll notice that because it's keeping proportions it's all automatically worked out the other sizes for me so it is going to be movable elevation zero means it's on the floor which is what I want so I hit continue okay that's what it looks like hit finish so there's my container I'll put that in the center of my um, area so we can see it zoom in a little bit on it so you can see at the moment if I pivot it around we've got um, we've got the, the door one end we've got the two serving hatches but I've got no roof and I haven't got any of the um, the shelves on there so I'm going to bring in some of these other items now in exactly the same way and you'll see that they'll end up in this library as well I might just do that off camera because it's a bit boring to watch it over and over but you'll see when I bring them in they'll all be listed here in this list view as well there's the sea shelf and so on sea roof so everything's in there so now what I want to do is position them and I want to change the materials they're made from as well so um, it doesn't really matter which order I do it in but maybe we'll look at this shelf here first of all so this is a virtual view of, and this is the plan view so if I choose this shelf here which is this one and I can either double click here to open this or I can double click over here and open it but either way I'm going to look for the properties and there's two things I want to do to it I'm going to modify the material first of all so I'm going to choose the default here I'm going to go for texture and I'm going to just choose a default one from the library now I could bring my own in I could import any image file that I wanted to so for instance on the outside of the container I could import a picture of corrugated metal and have that superimposed on it but this one I'm just going to go for um, some wood so I'm going to find some wood that's in there somewhere um, wooden floor will do it's not really the right thing but that'll do for now click OK you can see it's changed the image of the, of the board now but before I actually click off I also want to change the elevation so if you remember I said before if it was worth measuring the elevation means how far off the ground so I want it to line up with the edge of the container that's been cut through so I know for mine that the elevation is 1.21 meters so if I go in here and I type in 1.21 that should put that at the correct height for me so there we go there's the, there's the wooden bit there's the thing in a different view so if I move that around you can see what that looks like and I'm just going to move the in this view and I need to line it up with that serving hatch so it needs to be just put in with the arrow keys now if I come over here and move this about a little bit move it out slightly and move it around you'll see I go out of the virtual view actually and go back into the aerial view you can see now where that is okay and I'll do exactly the same thing off camera I will position this one over here put the roof on now I'm going to actually select a different color for the two items so you can show that they're different okay just come back in a second you'll see this finished okay so I've set my container to be made of red corrugated metal you can't quite see it at this point but you'll see it later with the renders I'm going to do the same thing for the roof but I'm going to make the roof use um, a, a kind of blue paint uh, metal kind of finish so I'm going to go to modify I'm going to choose my own texture this time so I'm going to come in and I'm going to go import and I'm going to choose an image and I've got one here which is blue and I'm going to open that okay so I'm going to choose that one I'm not going to bother to I might make that into a I might call it wall as the type hit finish that's turned up now in my textures library and I'm going to say OK and you can see it's made it go blue I'm going to say OK again and OK again so, okay so at the moment my my roof's the right color now but it's not actually on the right elevation so it's not going to go on the top of this container it's going to go underneath it so all I want to do is try and set it to the same height as this and if I look over here I can see that my body the height of it is 2.65 so if I make the elevation of this one 2.65 it should be at the same height as the top of that um, container so we'll have a little look and see if that does it so that looks about right all I need to do now is to position it and just nudge it with my cursor until it gets to the right position and I think that's pretty good so um, I've now got my container which is got a corrugated red finish it's got wooden shelves at the right height and it's got the view of the roof if I switch over to the 
um, aerial view you can see that um, that's what it looks like so you can obviously do what you want with yours but um, you can put your furniture inside you can always turn the visibility and things off so if I wanted to put things inside this container I can just switch off my roof visibility and then I can see what I'm doing by positioning things in this view um, and that's all good there you have it